From time to time, you probably run into a picture of something that you want to model. In this case, I found a one-handed beer bottle opener. And so I'm going to use a sketch picture inside of SolidWorks to recreate this design. So to start, I want to create a new part. And I have a part metric template. If you don't have a template in metric units, you can come into the options, go to document properties, and change the units. So I'm going to create a sketch on the front plane. And I'll go to tools, sketch tools, and choose sketch picture. And I've saved this out to the desktop. And I'm going to go ahead and bring it in. So you can modify this by using the properties on the left, but generally the easiest way to work with this is simply dragging it out and resizing it in the workspace. I want to create a quick reference line for one of my dimensions so I can get the sketch picture dimension correctly. Typically any picture you find on the internet isn't going to be the size that you want it to be. So the easiest way to go is typically draw out a couple reference lines and give them a dimension and then get your picture set. In this case I took a quick trip to my fridge, grabbed a beer and a pair of calipers and got the width of the beer bottle cap. So I'm going to go ahead and add a quick center line with a width of 28.5 millimeters. And you can see the picture is quite a bit larger than my reference line. So I'm going to go ahead and resize it just by double clicking back in until we get down to the correct size. In this case, since it is a bottle opener, we'd probably prefer it to be slightly oversized than being slightly undersized. That looks about right. And I no longer need the center line, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it out. Next, I want to grab my line tool and start tracing this bottle opener out as well as the circle tool. This looks like the simplest place to start, so I'll go ahead and add a circle. And I'm going to go ahead and make this 26 millimeters. Once I have this circle, I can see that it's undefined or underdefined. And that might make it a little bit difficult to work with this entire profile as I create it. I want at least one good base where I don't have the entire sketch moving around. So I'm going to go ahead and right click in and go to fully defined sketch and just hit calculate and this will just add two positional dimensions from the origin to the center of that circle. Next I'm going to go ahead and create another circle and give that another dimension. There's some items that you'll work with or some pictures you'll work with where the dimensions are very important. In this case as long as these are roughly close, this should fairly easily open a bottle of beer. From here I'm going to grab the line tool and start tracing the rest of the profile. I'll go ahead and click this in and if I press A this will bring me into a tangent arc and once I click again this will bring me back into the line tool 
I'll click once more, hit A again, and that'll bring me back into the tangent arc. A once again, and once again. And I'll just continue around and get the rough profile. So you can see I have most of the tangent relations I need, but we want to go ahead and make the other arcs tangent as well. So I'll control click in for those, selecting both, and making each of these tangent where they need to be tangent. From here I can start adding dimensions. Once I have certain radii set, I'm going to go ahead and add each one of these individually. So this back arc looks pretty good, so I'll go ahead and give it its radius. Let's we'll call it eight and a half millimeters. The top looks good as well. And so this doesn't move around too much while I'm dimensioning this. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of dimensions. And as you add dimensions, you can notice that this will project in whichever direction it thinks that you're trying to dimension in. And if you want to lock this into a certain direction, you can simply right click. You see next to my mouse, there's a little lock icon. And now I can place this wherever I want. So I can go ahead and continue dragging these out. I'm going to go ahead and draw up a center line from the origin. And my angle looks just about right on this side of this line. So I'm going to go ahead and create an angle dimension and define that line. Next, I'll go ahead and set this radius. Once I have it in the right place, and I notice a horizontal relation accidentally got it added in, so I can go ahead and delete that out so I can get the correct angle here. And I can continue refining this, but this looks about right. So I'm going to go ahead and just right click in once again and say fully defined sketch. And this isn't always the best tool to use, as it'll dimension as it sees fit. But it's typically very convenient once you have everything set in the sketch. And with that last change, this looks about right. I want to have a single closed profile, so this is easier to extrude. So I'm going to use the Trim tool with the Power Trim option. And all I have to do is click and drag through this line to remove out that extra arc.
And once I have all that set, I can simply use the extrude tool. I'm going to choose the mid plane option. And 10 millimeters looks about right. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And here we have our completed Kibo bottle opener.